Hey you guys, it is colonoscopy prep day. And I had told you guys before that I was gonna incorporate this with a Timu haul, but I think I'm gonna make this a stand alone video. Um, there might be people that want to come here and watch the prep and how that goes that don't really, sorry, the ring light's showing up in my spectacles, but they may not be interested in Timu and maybe the Timu people don't want to watch the colonoscopy prep, but I highly encourage you um, if you're just clicking on this video to at least schedule your colonoscopy. Get it scheduled, get it on the books, just do it. It's really not that bad. If you're afraid of anesthesia, don't be. It, it is, I actually enjoy going in and getting that ni nice little nap and it's the most peaceful nap and then you come home and you relax the rest of the day. Uh, the hardest part of the colonoscopy is actually the prep, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing um, Sutab tablets, and with that, you basically take tablets with water, and I mean a lot of water, and that might sound easy to you, um, and it is much easier, in my opinion, than drinking the weird mixtures because I've done that too and then drinking Gatorade all day long uh, which you can drink Gatorade with this as well um, I think I just got burnt out on it because I was having to do colonoscopies like every six months for a while so with that said I am working today but I work from home so I am just going to be casual today and my pajamas and just kind of relax and hang out. If you have a job uh, that you need to be at, you probably want to schedule at least a half day and then go home and start your prep. With the Sue tab, you can actually start it, the directions say four o'clock, but I've done these well enough to know my body and what works for me, and I'm going to start earlier. It's early in the morning now, so I've not started anything. I just wanted to kind of come on and do this intro. I have my prep in here. And you might think, oh, that's like all you have to do is take a pill. Well, let me just tell you, if you are doing the Sutab prep, please follow the instructions. Drink all of your water, every last drop of your water, because... If you don't do the prep right, if you don't get, and parts of this video are gonna be TMI, I'm just saying, but when it's all said and done, you want to have clear liquid, and that's what you want to see, or at least like a pale yellow. And again, I'm sorry, that is TMI, but you don't want it solid in any way you and, and if it is they will not do your colonoscopy it will be a fail and you'll have to do it again so that's why i stress the importance of it and again colon cancer you guys is if you catch it it can be treated they call it the silent killer because you don't even know that you have it and by the time you start having symptoms it's already manifested itself in your body. So that's why these colonoscopies are so important. And I just went for my routine colonoscopy and um, you're supposed to go when you're 50. I kept putting it off, kept putting it off. I finally went when I was about 54. That was about three years ago. And um, I had cancer on a polyp. And fortunately for me, you know, had I put it off another year, my uh, situation might be completely uh, different. I may not even be here right now. So, um, and now I get colonoscopies every six months. Actually, they moved it to a year now. And um, because I did have that diagnosis, but for me, they were able to cut out um, Cheryl, they did not cut anything. <laughs> For me, I did not have to do a colon resection. I did not have to do uh, radiation. I did not have to do chemotherapy. They, This is where I was going with that. They cut the polyp out. You never know, and it's early, okay? <laughs> And I know what's coming up for me today. So it's not fun. I'm not gonna glamorize it. It's not 
it's not going to be, you know, an exciting day over here, but it's something that has to be done. So this is what the prep looks like. This box of Sue Tab, it contains two bottles and 12 tablets in each bottle, a 16 ounce cup. It, it's, uh, it also includes a booklet for instructions and tells you exactly what to do. Uh, but when you start taking your 12 pills, you take a pill, drink a bunch of water, take a pill, drink a bunch of water, take a pill, drink a bunch of water, to the point where the water feels like it's up to here. You, and FYI, if I did not say this, you cannot eat. Uh, all day today, you cannot eat any solid foods. And uh, just speak with your doctor about what works for you. Also, I had to quit taking a couple medications. Not that I'm on a whole lot, but also speak with your doctor about that. You may have to stop taking some medications before your prep and before your procedure. So, I'll be back when it's time to, to start this. And uh, so, and if you have any questions down below, just let me know. Basically, this I'm gonna take you through the drinking the water, the I might take you with me up to the where I'm going, but you know, obviously you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna see the actual colonoscopy. <laughs> Cause I'll be uh, I'll be in a nice little sleep, a nice little nap. So anyway, let's just. This is something completely new for me and my channel, but I really, really feel like it's important. Okay, so I'm back, and it's 1:30 in the afternoon. My prep says to start at four, but like I said, for me, I'm going to start a little earlier. Um, <clears throat> and so the instructions are a little bit different from what I remember. So I wanted to just go over them with you real quick. Here is the bottle and there's 12 pills in here. And then I have 12 more that I'll need to do this again at five o'clock in the morning. And then, so they even provide you uh, a cup in this package. But so there's 12 pills in here and they're horse pills. <laughs> They're about that big. So you take all 12 pills, follow it by a sip of water, and then I'm supposed to do this over the course of about 15 minutes. And then it says, if you become uncomfortable to take the tablets and water slower, about an hour after the last tablet is followed, fill the container and drink the entire amount over 30 minutes. And then about 30 minutes after that, you basically do that again. And then uh, we start again at 5 a.m. And again, I know this doesn't sound hard, but um, just make sure that, that you do it and drink all of the water. Still hanging in there. The worst part, I don't think, is taking the pills. I did manage to get dressed, although I should have just stayed in my, and why I picked overalls on today of all days, I don't know. But um, anyway, the worst part really isn't the pills. It's uh, drinking the water. It, um, because the pills make you feel nauseous. And so getting the water down is really tough. I have raccoon eyes, probably. But anyway, cheers. Okay, you guys, I made it through the day. It's about 9.30 at night, and I'm gonna try to get comfortable and get in bed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there were a few hours during the day today that I felt really, really nauseous and, um, that's the hard part is like drinking the water when you're feeling nauseous, but, uh, we did it. I did it. <laughs> and I'm going to get up, uh, five o'clock in the morning and do it all over again. And then the, uh, prep, um, will be done. 
and I can move forward. <laughs> I'll be heading into the to have the procedure about 9:30. Um, actually, I have to be there at 9:30, and the procedure's at 10:30. So, uh, if you have any, uh, I'll probably still update like in the morning and again after. Uh, it's over just to let you know that everything went well. But if you do have any questions, you can leave them below. Um, and guys, something that I worried about, and this is like probably information overload, but I asked and I'm, maybe you have the same question is like, I was so nervous that like I was not going to be able to control myself um, as far as bodily <laughs> functions when um like when after like they put me to sleep and I'm laying on the table and I've taken all these pills and drink all this water like what's going to happen like when I go to sleep like I was really really concerned about that and they told me not to worry that they actually have like something that's right there that suctions everything away and um, I've never and I've had several several colonoscopies and I've never like woke up to a mess or anything like that and again I'm really <laughs> sorry to be posting so much uh, graphic information and I'm sorry if this is disturbing but hopefully if this is not something you're interested in uh, knowing more about or learning about it you've already clicked off so you're not here and um, it's the ones that like are planning for it, need to have it done, have questions. That is something that I personally was concerned about. So, okay, well, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. and it's time to just repeat the same thing that I did yesterday. My procedure's at 10.30 and um, they want this completed at least four hours prior to. So um, that gives me plenty of time to get this down and get my water in. And um, I'll probably go ahead and do this and take a bath and uh, not really looking forward to it, but it's gotta be done. So bottoms up, see you when it's over. Or maybe I'll film on the way, we'll see. Full transparency, this video might not get uploaded. It depends on what happens. The second part of my prep was a complete fail. Everything come out the wrong end and um, I just got really nauseous and sick from it and it just didn't go well. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm really disappointed. I've not had that happen before. The first half went fine. Um, I do have, uh, again, TMI, but there, I do have clear liquid, so hopefully it will be okay, but, um, anyway, I'm tired, and, uh, once this is over, I'm probably gonna come back and sleep for a while, <laughs> so, anyway, fingers crossed, I don't want to do this again. I am getting ready to head out and go. You do have to have a driver, by the way. Um, they do require that, and my mom will be taking me, driving me, and um, sitting up there, and she'll drive me home as well. So, um, anyway, we're getting ready to go. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, uh, everything went fine. The procedure went well. Um, they just... Put a little IV in you and um, will you back to the room, give you a warm blanket, you turn on your side, they give you oxygen and in the oxygen they put you to sleep for a little while. It's the best nap ever. There's my ride. That's my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to go get something to eat. Um, I'll probably go home and sleep for a while. And uh, everything went well, no polyps, no cancer, and I don't have to go back for two years now. So, yay. So schedule yours today. Thank you.